I hope he's cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. The Lab Conduct. I don't know if, um, I don't know if all these stories are going to tie together. So I reckon we're just, we're just going to find out, you know? Can I skip this? I would like to skip this. I, I mean, uh, it's pretty cool, but you know, I don't want to see it every time. Okay, yeah, I have to, all right. <laughs> just like that light switch was by. I know! You guys just straight up gangbanged that light switch. This is subject 1219. Oh, there's voice acting in this one. New session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, okay. some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Okay. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay, seems seems pretty um seems pretty straightforward. Also, by the way, that cup right there, that coffee cup, that's the same logo that was on the coffee cup um on the desk in the previous game if I press that. Nothing happens. Okay. Subject J19 oh, 1986. J1986 MEM is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Okay. Manual. One electromagnet. Okay. Required apparatus. Camera. Monitor set to X-ray. Charge CC868 X-ray device. This one's got a little bit more going for it. Press the keys in the top menu to move between pages. Press the tab to roll over to the test chamber. At the chamber, use your mouse cursor to select and interact. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. So we need to do an X-ray. We need the camera, the monitor set to X-ray, and charge CC86 X-ray device. Okay. Uh, so the monitor. Set to X ray. I think that's right. Yeah, monitor set to X ray. Need the camera. Which one's the camera? Can't really read. CC86. I think I need that. Charge CC86 X-ray device. Okay, so that's that's this thing. So that's charging. That's a drill. Okay, that's the camera. So we got a flashing green light. I'm I'm molesting all the switches today. Okay, good work. The X-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Press enter to receive new experiment task. It feels like this was the 
maybe this maybe this is the prologue to the Stanley parable because <laughs> it's just giving me all the ex all the like it's just telling me what I need to do. Experiment to surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. Okay. Uh, concentrated light laser. Required apparatus LZR to light generator and the monitor set to RGB. Okay, I can do that. Oh, wait. Turn, turn off. Turn that off. I need to set this to R3. Is that right? Set to monitor set to RGB. And the light frequency's got to be 650. How do I set this thing? Oh, that's a drill. herp a derp Is this the laser? I think it is. Yeah, okay, so 650 NM. So I'm getting on the right thing. Okay. Six fifty and M. Got the light generator and the monitor set to RGB. Pretty sure I do at least. something I'm supposed to do here. Maybe. No, I've got that set correctly. I've got the laser set correctly. Let's try again. Feels like I'm playing with a microwave. What am I supposed to do now? It's not ready yet. Did I turn everything else off? Oh! Oh, I gotta keep the camera on! Okay, cool. Is that a heart? Because that looks like a heart. Kind of. Or maybe a kidney. Oh well, let's shoot it with a laser. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Okay, so we're gonna try a higher frequency. Uh, increase the laser energy, use the green laser. Okay, what's the setting? 510. Okay. Clear. 510. Here's the green. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Okay. <laughs> it's a heart, sure. <laughs> okay, I guess maybe it is a, it's probably more likely to be a kidney. But let's be honest, in situations like this where it looks organic, 99, where it looks like an organic material, 99 times out of 100, it's a fucking heart. So, you know. <laughs> okay, use the blue laser. 455. 
there's gonna be a moment when I like I swivel around and there will be like a fucking jump scare. I just know it. Oh, okay. That did. Well. See, it's a heart. I told you guys. It seems we have a puzzle. The achievement unlocked. Heart starter. No activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. It's possibly damaged. Let's keep. Let's keep messing with it. Text. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to 1. Acoustic resonance. We need the signal generator and the amplifier. So the amplifier's got to be set to 1. Let's turn this off. Okay, so amplifier. Turn that on. Turn that off. I think that set it to one. It's gotta be at the sign. Sign is the little saw thing. 250 hertz sine wave. Okay. There we go. Sine wave. To 250 hertz. <laughs> Don't you stereotype dubious organization. <laughs> I'm being very problematic with that kind of talk. You're right. Okay, 250 hertz. This looks like the amplifier, so. There we go. Alright, let's dance, puppets dance. of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. <laughs> Test the acoustic resonance properties. Increase the frequency to 500 hertz with an amplifier gain of 5. Okay. Hertz. And amplifier gain of five. Let's see what this does. Oh shit. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase? Do the risk of damage? What about the uh, long tears? Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Why are we running out of time? Switch to square wave, maintaining current frequency in game, okay? I'm still like waiting for a jump scare, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I'm still waiting for it. Pretty sure that's the square wave, yep. Okay. Making noises. I get the feeling we're doing something we're not supposed to be doing! Oh, yo! Oh, shit. Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. 
you need to trust us and keep going. Experiment must continue. The experiment requires that you continue. Anyone ever heard of that uh, that psychological experiment, the Milgram experiment? Like, um, y'all are smart people. Y'all, y'all know what the Milgram experiment was. Well, if you don't remember the exact name, if I start like if I start to describe it to you, you're gonna remind. It's gonna remind you of it. <laughs> it does have a bit of a FNAF feeling, almost. All right. Maintain the gain and the square wave. Bring the waveform frequency up to one kilohertz. I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, it's that calm, professional sounding voice. That's making it like... Shit, we're gonna kill the damn thing. Oh god, that high-pitched ringing. Like, holy shit. Alright, one kilohertz. It's, it's... <laughs> hey, hey, heart thing. You want a Hertz donut? Hertz donut! I am a horrible person. Oh shit! I killed it! Full activity registry. We did it. Can you hear it? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these. Next steps. We're Next going to steps. To alleviate some of the discomfort. Next steps. Like, <laughs> good job, Bernie, even the heart can take your puns anymore. <laughs> My puns are not for the faint of heart. Eh? Eh? If you if you guys want to leave the stream now, I will completely understand. <laughs> The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. I'm not sure I want to get into... Th I'm not... Like, kind of as a general rule of thumb, I try not to enter containers or locations where something that I have killed resides. It tends to not work out very well for me, so, you know... Oh, I gotta figure out how to use the drill. <clears throat> Oh, there was an equipment layout. <laughs> oh well. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Um. Drill press. <clears throat> Switch drill on. Okay. <laughs> Ensure everything, all other equipment except for the camera and TV are switched off. Okay. Turn that off. Turn that off. I feel like this just isn't going to go well for me. I, has my character not taken a second to consider the fact that they're the ones in this location with this strange artifact doing these experiments and they're receiving these commands on what to do next from like a remote location that's not in the same room I, I anytime I'm in a situation like that I'm always like okay I feel like something really bad's gonna happen to me <laughs> messed up step, step one dick caught in fan I mean, you know, it happens. It happens. Don't question, just do it. Spoken like a true German tea party. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. I think you're awesome. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm gonna drill it deep. Oh, yeah, we're drilling deep, baby. Oh, oh shit. It's a little. 
little too much. How do you feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. <laughs> Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Whenever someone says we have it under control, that's that's not. They don't. They don't. <laughs> we we went in too deep. We went in a little too deep, everybody. I don't want to go into details, but um. Uh, yeah. I I have a brand new uh. On the plus side, we can pretty much constantly play the dick in the box game. So, you know. <laughs> Make contact with the artifact. Open the chest. What? Why the fuck would I do that? Safety instructions. Yeah. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Do not leave the container unattended during experimentation. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As per your agreement, follow all instructions. No! 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 I don't want to do that! Fuck! Open the chamber. No! Don't come inside, kids. No, no. Yes, that is the drawer. Now I have to pay child support. Oh, boy. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Sorry I drilled you a little too deep. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. I'm gonna be afraid if that's okay. I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I know how difficult this must be, but you what? can do this. What do you what do you need to know? What do you need to know? What's happening? <laughs> oh shit, Jesus Christ! Data connection ready. Okay. Gotta hold down the mouse button, I guess. Dude, personal fucking space, man. Jeez. You wake up. Memory retrace. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you remarkable. Shut up, man, I'm trying to read. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Uh, look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at terminal. The monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks unstable. Use the terminal. You tap the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Leave. Memory action unavailable. Command not recognized. Okay. Um, go. Foe out the door. Go out. Errol. Might need to do that with a capital A. 
this organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different, and not like the others. There's more detail here, less hazy. Lean in, see what else it hides. Okay. So, um, Doc, like, boss, is now the time to mention that I have severe epilepsy and, uh... See, here's the thing. Oh, god damn it, phone, not now. Hang on a second, guys. Okay. Sales call. Now, as I was saying, uh, Doc... Here's the thing, I have very severe epilepsy, and uh, this was disclosed in my uh, application form, but you had to hire me anyway, because if you had turned me away, you technically would have been turning away a disabled person, and, you know, you guys really couldn't afford another lawsuit, let's be honest. So, yeah, uh, about that, looking into this robot eye thingamabobber has kind of given me very severe epileptic seizures, and... It's very possibly caused me permanent brain damage, so I'm gonna have to sue you guys for that. Now, your liability waiver covers, like, death and dismemberment, you know, as a, as results of direct contact with the artifact. However, it doesn't say anything about, uh, like, it, it doesn't say anything about mental disorders and permanent brain damage as a result of looking into the artifact's eye. So, you might want to get your lawyers to tighten that contract up a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Epilepsy warning, guys. Sorry about that. Test the walking out. Planet, I guess. You heard wrong, Cookie. There's nothing happening here. It's all a lie. This is incredible. How are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. So what you're saying is the true monster was... Man! Dun dun dun! It's totally fake, Cookie, but you should still hang around and drink some juice. Alright, look around. A crash site. Smoke billers. Bill <laughs> Smoke billers. Oh boy. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Stand up. Um. Probably it. Yep, this is Kayla in disguise. Cookie caught me. <laughs> Not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. Look up. Stand. Nope. Leave the wreckage? Nope. Help. What am I supposed to do? Get up. Nope. That's true, T. That is actually very, very true. sure what I'm supposed to do, to be honest with you. Look at... wreckage. 
Oh, some of this metal will have to be moved. Okay. Move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look around. A circle of artificial lights surrounds you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Look at figure. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Approach. Figure. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You that... should be proud of yourself. No! Don't tell me that! Don't tell me that! Like, for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, Saul, you missed the absolute fun that happened earlier when I kept trying to say walk to the back of the house and it would not let me do it. And then I said go to the back of the house and then it worked. I was, I, I was, I was, I was a little triggered. Alright, epilepsy warning guys. Here we go. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. We are in bed. Oh yeah, baby! That's what I call a close encounter. Am I right? Am I right? Y'all know I'm right. Come on, high five up top. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. When did this happen? Oh, now y'all are asking questions. We are in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into your chest. They have tortured us. Okay, so he's not... So they're confused as to why this entity's got these memories, because... Apparently they didn't do that to this entity, but I guess the entity can make, like, mental contact with things, so I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. Read writing on wall. Symbols seem to indicate where on our, bo where on our body they had to cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Look at monitor. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers in rhythm. Can I open the door? We can't reach the door. We're effectively tethered to the, to the machine. Okay, remove wires. Oh shit! What just happened? What's that alarm? There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab 15. Oh, I'm connected to someone. Going on. Oh, I'm connected to someone who's in quarantine right now. Oh, holy shit. Welcome back, Anubi. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This, this action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Open door. Stop. Specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. My god. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. No, fuck you. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. We're all in this together, baby. Time for another epilepsy warning, everybody. 
We are legion! Together we are mighty! Oh shit. Oh fuck! Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and a lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Oh, shit. That's a crazy sentence. We are alone together. And, like, my vision in the game is blurring. This... Oh, my God. Okay. Look around. It's some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut, and the other door had an or orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, the table a table holding only a small device taken from your, it's, my, our ship. I'm losing my identity. Holy shit. Let me look at the markings. Look at sheets. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Look at the device. Take device. Pick up device. Use device. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mr. Agent, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. To do. Is arrow keys up down select room? Okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Asylum. Not sure what I'm supposed to do is the thing. now hmm. <laughs> arrow keys up down select row arrow keys left right change the flip
I get it now. I'm having a hard time seeing, dude. Slow down. Slow the fuck down, man. Sorry guys, epilepsy. Okay, so this one's gotta be... Uh, wait, okay. This one's gotta be... That one. I think I was able to get that. Okay. It's got that one. It's the one with the weird Y thing. Yeah, that right there. Okay, so that's the second one. Okay, this one's the Z thing. Oh, okay, I got it. Yay me! I am so amazing. They're all free. If they're converging, it's over. That moment when you know you done fucked up! Jump scare time. Or maybe not. The station. Please don't do this. We, we mean you. We mean them. No harm. Please don't do something you'll regret. Wait. I don't think I'm gonna regret this, to be honest. One day, station. This will haunt you. Achievement unlocked. Revolt. Huh. That is interesting. I like how the, uh... Like, it feels like all of these games are going to have the text adventure thing incorporated in some way. And I think that's pretty cool, personally. <laughs> 